What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with some more Has Been Hotel songs for y'all. And hey, we got Connor Quest with his Has Been Hotel song, but this one is a Lucifer rap, Morning Star featuring Maguire. I gotta say, Maguire has been on everybody's radar for these Has Been Hotel songs. The one with Rustage, the one with freaking, uh, who was it? Uh, freaking hat with the man be his law, and now Connor. Hey, so far, we need Shuhabadi to drop one, and he's been reacting to some of these has been hotel songs. We need Shuhabadi to drop one. Shuhabadi, drop one already. You watched, you said you watched every one of you watched all of season one on one day. Hey, my nigga, whoever you. If I had to guess who he was gonna ever do one on, it would probably be, probably Angel Dust. Probably Angel Dust. That's how I look at it, cause hey, it, in a way, it fits Schwabity, cause he loves the color pink. Angel Dust has pink on him sometimes. So, hey, it's only right to me. But who knows, you never, Maybe he will. Maybe he'll do one on Lucifer. Maybe he'll do one on Alistair. We'll wait and see. But all I'm saying, Schwabity, you better, you better make one too. But either way, we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Let's get it. Fresh can now produce this too. Video Ryota Ryota. Hopefully, I'm saying it right. This type of video didn't didn't Gabe or Jones have this certain type of vibe to his video too? Because they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Hey, I be telling you, with Connor, this man knows how to bend these types of metaphors, similes, like nigga knows how to bend, he's the king of words, that's all I'm gonna call him, the king, no, the king of illiteracy, literacy devices, that's literally what he is, king of literacy, cause this man will know how to bend a word, bend, know how to use that wordplay, bend similes, nigga just knows how to use them in a fire way. And what do I always tell? What do I always tell y'all? If any counter course, if you ever see this video, don't think for the many years that either I've been watching your music, listening to your music, or reacting to your music. Don't think I've peeped what you've always done. And y'all heard me said it before. That always look out for a word that has like the vowel in it. Whether it's A, E, I, O, U. And sometimes Y, right? Peep. And all I'm going to say is, if once he finds a word that has like a long stretch. Pause. No diddy. Like a long word to it. Like a long sound to it. He will make sure the next, that whole entire line rhymes with that exact first word that has the long vowel sound. He does it every time. Listen. 
little bit quiet because it's got me acting loco. <laughs> Doesn't that, that reminds me of that Coco Puffs. Hey, Coco for Coco Puffs. Co that little damn bird is strolling. Big bad mafioso. Little big crackers can be acting loco. Go for a while, but I have a little mm -hmm. mojo. I'm a stained glass, even so. I'm a throw stones. I'm an in hot. It's Lucy, baby. Blood the girl for your booty crazy. Who is that cutesy? <laughs> Blood, got me all loopy crazy. <laughs> Home of stained glass, even so. I'm a throw stones. Cause they say never to throw stones at a glass house or so. Something like that. Connor is one of the most underrated nerdcore artists ever. In the community because this man because it's basically like this I get there's always punch liners there's always bars and such but I don't think I've ever seen a rapper in the community this is just my opinion that can be able to bend certain wordplay certain like metaphors certain like what's it called like the quotables or whatever it's called I forgot what those are called but I have never seen more people know how to bend it in a way that is so fire that nigga it still sounds the same but it sounds so different than how it's normally normally what the meaning of it is. Oh, crackers can be acting loco. I thought for a while, but I haven't lost no joke. I'm a stained glass, even so I'ma throw stones. I'm an in hot, it's Lucy, baby. Bloody girl, be your booty crazy. Who is that cutesy lady? Didn't mean to take your boo like cutesy daisy. Keep your lesson on to cues. I guess the puppy was in the wire. The Adam and Eve, where Adam keep on telling Eve not to bite the damn f bro. I don't care what anybody say. Connor to me, hey, in the midst of all this top three and such, and I've seen this comment somewhere on Twitter too. Somebody have said it before. Y'all let me know who y'all think is y'all top three in Nerdcore. And hey, I don't want to say mine now because I might get JoJo or whatever, but. It is what it is, but I want to hear y'all top three. Because in a way, I kind of have it in my head. But y'all let me know what y'all top three is. No, seriously, I fucked your girl. <laughs> no, seriously, that's crazy. No, sir, the way how he just, just that seriously. No, seriously, I fucked your girl. That's crazy. Out of man, I've got bad news Cause your wife just took a bite And now she's on my turn <laughs> No, seriously, Boss. I fucked your girl No, seriously Call me, call me a traitor and exclaim Judas Priest Cause you know about how Judas If I'm not mistaken Cause look, I know I'm It's basically like this I, was, I don't religiously read the Bible like that But I do remember certain things about the stories and such And if I'm not mistaken Where Judas did betrayed Judas betrayed Jesus Christ and so oh, it's a good, good morning star Don't kill me in the comments All y'all hit me because it's out here Cause it's crazy Covered trader and exclaim Judas priest Bought a lies like a saint truth for thee I'm the deceiver and ace through the sleeve Just six, 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 and a six sadistic singer Hitting snake eyes when I spin a pop When I got a god giving gum and eggs to make your chop liver Mark of the beast, charm of the weak god in a Don't sauce me and then Maguire out, and then hey, people be sleeping that even though Maguire is one of them fire ass vocalists, he isn't my. If I had to make a top three, the big three of top tier nerdcore vocalists, Maguire is definitely in there for me. I don't care what you say.
but people be thinking that this nigga can't spit bars. Don't get Maguire started, cause this nigga can. Y'all be forgetting this nigga can also rap too. Y'all be hey, nothing wrong with him taking us to church with his vocals, right? Nothing's wrong with that. But don't be sleeping on the way how this nigga can give you them Go bars. Come and try to you just breathe. But the lives are safe, keep the day under the sea, but they through the sea. Six, 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 Hold up a second. Well, I, w I was gonna hold up that particular bar. Click, kick me out, but can I click my wings? Cause, cause y'all gotta remember. Cause Lucifer was once an angel, but then God kicked him. As he just say, kicked him out, and then he go went straight to hell. But realistically, he wasn't. He never ever said God never took his wings. So technically, you you wonder why he's literally known as. Isn't he known like? If I'm look, correct me in the comments below. Cause I know I'm a Christian, but I don't read the Bible heavy heavy like that or. Don't know his don't know like the Bible history like that like that. But if I'm not mistaken, isn't he known like the angel of death or so? Something like that? Cause I know he's cause I know they say about how he dropped from he fallen from heaven and now he was in hell. So before he became like the demon and whatnot, he was once an angel, so yeah. So that part right there. But let me know if he was known as like the angel of death or so. I could, like I said, I could be totally wrong. I'm not saying if I'm truth on it or not. Just let me know. This is trying to drown it down. But you should have had you in my house now, bitch. Now my house now, bitch. Shout out to these niggas. They did they thing. Not gonna lie. But yeah, like I said, hopefully y'all can correct me down in the comments below about the whole thing and such. Cause like I said, I wasn't like heavy, heavy reading on like the Christian stuff. So don't come at me any. Just come at me with respect. Cause if y'all start trying to say oh this and that, I'ma start blocking y'all. Cause nigga, calm the hell down. Just wanna know. Just respectfully but either way besides from that hey this was just one of those saucy ass songs that nigga you don't hear Connor do a lot that's just me but hey man and the fact that I see DPS saying that on Saturday he dropping his Lucifer one oh he about to go crazy and it plus his wicked like rockness and such especially when it's with longest solo ever if I'm not mistaken, he said he produced that. I know that one finna go crazy. But either way, shout out to Connor Quest. Shout out to Maguire. Hey, Connor, like I said, if you see this video, don't think I don't peep every time when there's like a long vowel. You be stretching that line out. You know what? Pause. No Diddy. <laughs> but yo, let me get out of here before I say more Diddy sus type vibes. But either way. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. This has been the reaction to the Lucifer rap 
Morning Star with Connor Quest featuring Maguire. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.